Salut! My name is Daniel and I'm a PhD student at Imperial College London, where I'm a member of the Biomedical Imaging Analysis Research Group under Dr. Bernhard Kainz. In this video, I will tell you about a project on unsupervised similarity learning in non-rigid image registration, which we worked on together with our colleagues at the Sheriff University of Technology, Technische University of München, King's College London, Johns Hopkins University, and Frau Erlangen Nürnberg, Farid, Ben, Julia, Nasir, and Loïc. In the beginning, we weren't interested in non-rigid image registration per se. In fact, we were trying to use Sibolov fusion, which was presented by Miroslava Slavcheva at CVPR 2018, in order to model infant motion using data from an expensive RGBD cameras, with a goal of automated assessment of neonatal movements for early detection of neurological diseases. Sibolov fusion is impressive, but the re-implementation of the model, and in particular the tracking, wasn't sufficiently accurate to model long scenes with sudden large motion. In comparison to the image registration, three-dimensional non-rigid scene reconstruction from a single camera poses some obvious additional challenges, for example the need to align only partial views and the additional time dimension. For this reason, we focused on three-dimensional registration of medical images instead. The goal of the project was to improve accuracy. Neural networks have been very successful in image registration tasks, but until not too long ago, their main advantage was speed, which is an order of magnitude faster compared to traditional methods based on iterative optimization. Recent work on hyperparameter learning presented at ITME 2021 by Tony Mock and at MECAI 2021 by Andrew Hoops made use of deep learning differently for efficient hyperparameter search, and we did something similar. The question we asked was, could a similarity metric implemented as a neural network define similarity better than the usual functions, for example, sum of square differences, local cross-correlation, or mutual information? If so, how could we compute the neural network weights that maximize the likelihood of images in the dataset when registering them to an atlas by maximizing the similarity metric? In comparison to the few previous methods for unsupervised similarity learning in image registration, which relied on ad hoc adversarial networks, we used a more rigorous Bayesian framework. The similarity metric was implemented as a 3D unit encoder and manually initialized to output the value of either the sum of square differences or local cross-correlation. The parameters of the approximate variational posterior of transformation parameters, which is a multivariate normal distribution with a diagonal plus low rank covariance matrix, were calculated via iterative optimization of a loss function, which consisted of the similarity term and the regularization term. In order to make optimization less susceptible to local minima of the loss function, we also used Sibolov gradients. The results were even better than we had anticipated. Here is the output on two test images when registering them to an atlas using the baseline and learned similarity metrics. In case of the model initialized to SSD, the average improvement in dice scores over the baseline on the presented image is approximately 27 percentage points. In case of LCC, it is approximately 6 percentage points. To increase accuracy is mostly straightforward, but the challenging part is to make sure that the output transformations are realistic. In order to show that the models generalized and learned useful features, we also used a more sophisticated image registration model, VoxelMorph, and trained it with the use of learned similarity metrics. To make the comparison fair, we used the exact same hyperparameter values for VoxelMorph trained with the baseline and learned similarity metrics. In case of VoxelMorph plus SSD, the average improvement in dice scores over the baseline on the test image shown on the slide was approximately 25 percentage points, and in case of LCC, it was approximately 12 percentage points. We compared image registration based on an iterative optimization method using the baseline and learned similarity metrics on 300 test images, and based on voxel morph trained with the baseline and learned similarity metrics on 2,679 images. The improvement was statistically significant in terms of average surface distances for 12 out of 15 subcortical structures in case of SSD, 10 in case of LCC, 10 in case of voxel morph trained with SSD, and 14 for voxel morph trained with LCC, and in terms of dice scores for 13 out of 15 subcortical structures in case of SSD, 11 out of 15 in case of LCC, 10 in case of voxel morph trained with SSD, and 15 in case of voxel morph trained with LCC. If you would like to know more, please visit the project GitHub page, which includes the source code and pre-trained models. Before I finish, I would like to thank my co-authors Farid, Ben, Julia, Nasir, Bernhard, and Loïc. We are also grateful to CVPR organizers for the opportunity to present our work. Thank you for your attention.